Welcome back to Jonesy Cast. I'm Jonesy and this is the cast. Um, please like and subscribe if you would like to subscribe. If you don't want to, that's cool too. Um, let's get back into it. We've got <clears throat> civil, I'm reading on another screen, civil fix 5828. <clears throat> I got cheated on for the first time when I was 17. Now I've read the post. It's a super block of text and it was kind of hard to read, but that's okay. We'll get through this <laughs> together. Um, what can I say, man? It's a clusterfuck. It's a clusterfuck, but it's not one that I haven't seen before. Um, there's a lot to go through here. Um, so you figured out he was cheating on you um, and you were devastated. And then he denied, denied, denied. And of course he stayed with him. Um, then it looks like he's still cheating and there's nothing you can do. Well, there's nothing you feel you can do about it. Um, and it says, but I know I have too much to lose now if I leave. We have a mortgage together, a car loan, a bank loan, credit card, debts, and just memories. So much financial and emotional damage. <clears throat> I mean, one option, and just, just hear me out for a second here. If you don't have student debt, I assume you're in the United States and student debt's a bitch of a thing because you can't declare bankruptcy. But you can declare bankruptcy from all that shit and then leave it on him because he was a dog. Um, but I don't know if you're ready to do that. I mean, you've said at the end, or maybe just some advice other than just leave him. I've heard that too many times and it's just not that simple. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I would argue that it's not that simple because you don't want it to be that simple. And I can understand that. Um, here's what I, here's the, the starting comment I'll make. Eventually, if it becomes too much or when it becomes too much, you will leave. So you don't have to worry necessarily about, um, you know, feeling worthless and what are your friends going to think if you stay with him and all this bullshit, if they know what kind of guy he is. Um, I would, I would just take a chill pill, just relax. It's going to be okay. All right. Um, the first thing I would say is, I've met girls like this before that ha they feel like they have to say yes to him, to the man that's in their life, because he's the man that's in their life. And why is that? Well, it's because no one, the man, is in their, li in their life. You know, you don't have another reference point for, for men. You know, it's, it looks like you, we've been together for over five years now. So you're probably about 22, 21. That's so young, man. I'm 35. That's so young. Like it's, it's brilliantly young. I wish I was 22 again and could make, and I had time to make some of the mistakes that you've just made right now. Um, I mean, <clears throat> the first thing you have to figure out is why you stay and why you keep coming back and I would imagine that it has something to do with the fact that you don't think you deserve someone better um, and that's very common and it's very common for young women especially when they are convinced by young men that he's the only man that will ever love them or you know there's no one else for you but I can guarantee you now, if you are 22, 23 max, I mean, there is someone else for you. I'll, I will bet all the money in my bank account that there is someone else waiting there for you to treat you much better than he has treated you. Um, keeping in mind that, I mean, you've got, you've got a mortgage together and a car loan. So the mortgage is on a manufactured house I'm seeing. I don't know how much that would be, but I can't imagine it would be too much. Um, I mean, maybe a hundred grand, maybe one fifty. I mean, that's nothing in this market. I mean, if it's bigger, 
tell me I'm wrong a bit. Um, I, I, I think what will happen if you leave him is that he'll just find his way back into your life. And the reason that's the case is because you haven't really dealt with the person you need to deal with. And that person is you. I mean, he says he loves you and doesn't. Um, you say you love him and do. But the question is, why do you love him? Why do you love him? Why do you love a man that doesn't love you? Um, and I imagine it's to do with self-esteem, to do with um, self-worth. I don't know what your parents, your relationship with your mother was like. I mean, what was your dad like towards your mother? Um, you know, I, you can tell a lot about a person by the house they come from or in some cases the broken home they come from. Um, I would probably start working on you. Um, I would start working physically on you, you know, do some exercise, go to the gym. And I don't say that because I think you're fat. Like there's no evidence here to say that. But physical exercise is good for the mind. It's good for um, depression. And it's good for, I mean, it's just great all around. Uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman is a guy to look up on that. He has a podcast on Spotify, Andrew Huberman. Um, the other thing to do is work on yourself mentally to educate yourself a bit. You've obviously got educational ability given that you've been a university. Um, read books that really speak to you. Um, I would watch YouTube videos and find something that inspires you. Years ago, I found Jordan Peterson on the internet and I was completely enamored with him and watched hours and hours and hours and hours of his material. <clears throat> and I came to understand a lot about myself, a lot about young men and a lot about young women that I just didn't know before. Um, a lot about myself and why I do the things I do and what I should be doing, right? Um, and maybe you need someone to do that, put a fire under you, kickstart you. Um, I don't know if it, it should be male or female, um, but it seems like you need inspiration and people who need inspiration also need mentors. Now, the reason I say books and YouTube is because most of my mentors don't even know me, right? Jordan Peterson is one of my mentors and he doesn't know me. Um, and I've been watching Joe Rogan for probably 10 years now. He doesn't know me, um, but I get inspiration from the guests on his podcast. So that might be something to do. Um, I think like if you've got good friends, you need to have a friend that <clears throat> can just listen to you because you, the process that people go through to finally affect. So I work in the um, human services industry and it takes about seven attempts for a female to leave a male that is guilty of family violence, right? Seven attempts. So don't feel bad if you leave him and then you come back and then you leave him and then you come back, you know, like, cause there is that massive emotional um, sway that he holds over you. I remember um, I said to someone one day, the reason that women don't, leave the men that abuse them is because or treat them like shit is because he's the only one that makes you feel that way that makes you feel loved and needed and felt and touched and held right so it's all it's all well and good for someone to go just fucking leave him but where are you going to go to whose arms are you going to walk into you know but i would argue that if you build yourself into the woman that can hold yourself, then you've got a much better chance of getting a man that can hold you. You know, you have to be someone worth being to have someone worth having. And I, I can't speak to whether you are someone worth being or someone worth having. Only you can speak to that. You know, I mean, I don't think this, the fact that this man treats you like shit says anything about the quality of you or the quality of your ability in relationships. I think he's just a dirty dog who's got lucky. <clears throat> I mean, there's many of them out there. There's many of them out there, you know, just blokes that have no idea what they've got. And then she figures out that he's kind of shit <laughs> and then she leaves him 
And then his life just spirals downwards because he doesn't have anyone to take his day out on or to be at home when he goes off and cheats. You know, like it's an interesting thing doing what he's doing, just cheating. Because I imagine it's with one girl for a certain amount of time and then another girl for a certain amount of time. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got Tinder or something to um, help him get these contacts. But you're old reliable right now right you'll always be there at least that's what's happened so far so why should he not think that that's what's going to happen in the future i mean what i would ask you to do is treat yourself like someone to whom you would give advice something of one thing i've done in the past is i get a notepad and a pen and i have two identities like Jonesy and then um, my first name and then um, Adam writes to Jonesy and then Jonesy writes to Adam and then Adam writes to Jonesy and then Jonesy writes to Adam and Adam says hey man like I'm feeling shit and Jonesy goes why what's what's got you feeling shit and then in in your context it would be because my boyfriend's cheating on me and he's like what do you want to do about that I don't know what to do about that. Uh, Well, here's some ideas. And then you'll find that you will write to yourself and you will give yourself advice as the other, right? Um, I hope this video has helped, man. Um, Oh, another thing I would do is write down what you want in a relationship, in a man, and in yourself as a woman in the context of a relationship. And then what you don't want in all those three, in yourself, in your man, and in your relationship. Write that down and do it, write it, write it down. Don't just write it on your phone, write it in a notebook where he can't find it. Because then it's, then it's, it's kind of like, it's more like concrete than just thoughts in your head that just float away like butterflies when the next thought comes. Um, And what you can do is you can look at that list of traits over time and because he's obviously not meeting them but there's a reason why you're staying with him there's a reason why you're staying with him um but if you can fix that reason why you're staying with him if you can fix that thing about you that wants him and that desires him i mean what's not possible anything's possible so yeah i hope this video has helped i have an immense amount of empathy for you um, cause I, I like, I haven't been in your position given that I'm a guy, but I, I know many, many people who've been in your position and it, it really is shit, you know, and it's very disempowering. Um, but let me tell you, man, you've got power. You've got power. You just have to find it cause it's in there. You just have to find it and you have to have a reason to activate it. So good luck. I wish you all the best. I hope it goes well.